Aloha, I'm Ali E. Carvalho, and this is everything I do in a day. If I'm not working, I'm waking up at around 2 p.m. I do not set an alarm. That's my body saying it's time to wake up me. Before I get out of bed, the first thing that I do is I check my phone. But actually right after that, I have Google throughout my house. So I'll say, well, I can't say it because it'll turn on, but I'll be like, yo, Google, will you play some Amine? Or hey, Google, will you play some Ravina Aurora? Like depending on the day that I'm having. Actually, I do start and end my day with a fair amount of music. It just plays. All right. Here's Ravina Aurora. Stop! Speaking of Google, hey Google, stop! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I start my day on my phone, and I end my day on my phone, and I watch a lot of the dodo, read the news, I watch the news, and honestly, a lot of my news also comes from Twitter, so I'm on Twitter a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of social media that I consume. In the morning, I brush, tongue scrape and use mouthwash. Really the only kind of beauty thing that I do in the morning is tone my face with my new micellar water, put on sunscreen, try not to wear too much makeup, but I do have this really great concealer that I just picked up. It's a clay depot, it's expensive, but you just put it on like little dots and, and suddenly you can go out the door. So that's usually my, my morning routine if I was going out the door, so I don't wear makeup. My whole life is an oxymoron. In terms of wardrobe, Whatever I went to sleep in, I spend the day in. I probably won't change until I shower and then it's on to a different pajama. Like that's also why I'm doing so much laundry is the fact that like I'm wearing jeans today, but that is not the new normal for me. It's, it's really just sweatpants, it's leggings if I'm feeling fancy. When I wake up, my first beverage is tea. I have to get better at drinking water. My favorite teas are throat coat, chamomile, hibiscus, green tea, earl grey. I have chai tea. I love teas. I'll play with my cat. He has way too much energy for me, so I have to play with him. My cat's name is Rocco. He is an indoor cat only. Except when I put him in my little like backpack. It's like the astronaut backpack where he has you know, like the round dome for his head and we'll like go on walks and stuff. I think I enjoy it more than he does, but he's really cute when he's in there. So maybe he'll learn to love it. He doesn't love it yet. My cat Rocco's three meals are at, as soon as I wake up and then there's one at 6 p.m. and then there's one at midnight. He is a well-fed boy. Um, after that, you know, it's usually about four or 5 p.m. So I'm getting ready for dinner. Uh, I, I either order something of a Postmates. I always have pasta and Cheerios in my cupboard. So, whew, and that's on being 19 and living alone, folks. When I order dinner, because my options in my house are quite limited, I love sushi, I love poke, Thai food, big one. I have picked up some really great books. I also been listening to some podcasts, actually. I feel like I'm, I'm learning a lot from listening to other people. <laughs> I listen to my podcast uh, through my headphones, actually, and I keep it in my pocket while I'm cleaning my house, or sometimes I'll take notes on the podcast that I'm listening to. Sometimes I'm like multitasking and I'm listening to a podcast while watching TV. Sometimes I'll call my mom or my dad. <laughs> my dad and I have standing like FaceTimes or phone calls every Tuesday night. And then my mom and I talk or we see each other in person just about every other night. Otherwise I'm on my phone texting my friends or on house party with my friends. Like I said, consuming a lot of social media. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of me on my phone and, and on my laptop until I fall asleep at four or 5 a.m. I think I start settling down at around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Um, that's when I do my nightly skincare routine and shower and change into my <laughs> night pajamas out of my day pajamas. <laughs> my routine for my shower is put my hair up in a scrunchie. I don't wash my face in the shower which a lot of my friends do. I also don't brush my teeth in the shower. I don't like that. Like I like keeping things separate, you know? Like I can shower in the shower and then I can wash my face at the sink and brush my teeth at the sink. So the only thing that really happens in the shower is, 
is the shower. And I don't wash my hair. I wash my hair every four to no, I can't make it to the fifth day. It really is only four days. There's a lot of like messy buns and, and dry shampoo used in between that time. What we call in Hawaii tita buns or just a messy bun. <laughs> That's the go-to hairstyle, folks. Then come out of the shower. I put in a leave-in conditioner. I put in a gel. And then I also usually put in like some type of detangling spray, shiny thingy. I'll split my hair down the middle and basically do like a wet set. So I'll, that's what I call it anyway. And I'll like twist my hair into two little buns, secure them at the nape of my neck. And then maybe that's why my sleeping is so off because I'm trying to sleep with like knots at the bottom of my neck. I didn't even think of that. But they come out really great though. And at night I brush floss tongue scrape and mouthwash. So my nighttime skincare routine is if I'm wearing any makeup, I will first put on some coconut oil to remove any of like the mask on my face. Then I'll wipe it off with a washcloth. Then I go into cleansing. I have one of two washes. One of them is like, like CeraVe and then the other one is kind of a more acne cleanser. So I'll use one of the two, and I usually do a double cleanse. Then I'll tone with my new micellar water. After that, I have so many serums and creams and tonics that I like to try out. Sometimes I'll put on a face mask, leave it on for about 20 minutes, then moisturize. I don't use eye cream yet, but I'm thinking about it. When it's time to go, time to go to bed, that just means that I'm in bed. It doesn't mean that I'm actually sleeping. I'm going to bed for four hours. Like the end is not necessarily in sight for me. Dr. Pimple Popper, mm, the best thing to watch as I'm going to sleep. Anime, I'm watching Naruto right now too. So I'll watch either Hoarders, Naruto, or Dr. Pimple Popper from 2 a.m. to sometimes 6 a.m. That's usually how it goes. So going to bed for me just means being in bed, not necessarily going to sleep. I'll fall asleep with my laptop still open. I sleep with my house cold. I'm also from Hawaii. So my cold is like 74, 75 degrees. Maybe that's just average, I don't know. <laughs> but that's really cold for me. And then I have to sleep under the blanket, no matter what, like not just sheets, like no, sheet, blanket, comfy silk pillowcase so that you don't have like all the flyaways. And more specifically, you don't wake up with lines on your face. It is life changing once you change your pillowcase. It's true. Not only do I have blackout curtains, but I also have one of those um, eye mask thingies. I really try my best to sleep well. I realize that now. And I like, I like tuck in. My cat usually sleeps between my legs. So I snuggle and then he snuggles and that's, that's how I sleep. <laughs> I try to sleep all the way through and I'm a pretty good sleeper once I get there, but if the cat interrupts me, <laughs> then not so much. Well, that's everything I do in a day. Thanks for watching.